Alright guys, we are back with What If Deku Had The Alpha Stigma Part 5 Alright, and Let's see <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that Um So, um Deku and T Baku and Bakuko are Now in the nurse's office A recovery guard's office And You know Deku was the one that woke up first, alright, you know, All Might says, no, no, fucking All Might, fuck, um, Recovery Ghost says that, um, you're free to leave, you know, if you want to, but I'd recommend you, um, at least staying a bit, you know, cause they've been there for like a couple of hours and shit, and, you know, um, Deku wakes up, you know, he's like, okay, fine, whatever, you know, but but he decides to to just leave. You know, as he's leaving, he sees um. You know, Baku go there with um. With his um his mom his mom is right there. You know. And he, he um. Tries to um. Walk away for like leave the room as soon as possible before um. She sees him. You know. Because he doesn't want to be in that, like, situation. You know? It's kind of, it'd be kind of awkward. And, you know, he, um, he decides to just teleport out, outside the room, you know? And, um, this is where, um, he walks into All Might. And All Might tells him that, um, All Might tells Deku that, um, oh, I see you've woken up, huh, young Midoriya. And Deku's like, yeah, I have Bakugo's, I'm not sure about Bakugo, I think uh, Bakugo's still asleep or whatever, you know. You know, and All Might's like, oh, is that so? He's gonna go see him. And um, then Deku says, no, not Deku. Then All Might says, um... Young Midoriya, is it alright if I, um, talk to you tomorrow, you know? Considering it's, it's pretty late. And, Deku's like, alright, yeah, sure, it's okay. And, Alma says, alright, um, come to my office before, like, ten minutes before class starts, you know? And Deku's like, fine. And Deku right now he just he, he just teleports home, okay? And he's he's kinda hungry, so he orders some um some food, you know. And and right as um he waits like thirty minutes for it to come, right when it comes, you know. Pays the dude and shit. And right as soon as he's about to, like, eat it, he hears a voice saying, erase all of it, you know? And this freaks him out because he's, he feels like he's heard this voice, like, he heard this voice again, you know? And he's trying to figure out why does he keep hearing it, you know? Maybe it's because of stress or something. And then he hears the voice again saying, erase everything. And now his head is starting to hurt, saying, kill, kill, kill them all. And after that, Deku just passes out. All right. And now we time skip to the next day, you know, he wakes up, you know, he sees that he's on the floor. He's trying to remember what happened, and then he realizes that he, he remembers that he heard the voice again, and he passed out, and, at, and after that, Deck was trying to figure out why does he keep hearing that voice, you know, it, it can't be because of stress, because that, that, then his, you know, it, it got fucking, like, annoying, he even started getting a headache after that, 
And then he remembers that he heard a voice also when he copied All Might's quick. And he said, maybe, could it be because of that? He starts singing to himself. You know, and then he realizes what time it is. You know, and then he says, oh crap, I'm gonna be late. Because he did promise to talk with All Might. And he just grabs what he couldn't, what he ordered last night uh, for breakfast and just eats it on the way there. And then he goes to All Might's um, office and they have a talk. And Deck, uh, not Deck, All Might asks, and no, 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 before All Might asks his questions, Deku says, Hey, All Might, I have a question for you. And All Might says, All right, well, let's hear it. I copied you quick at the entrance exams. And ever since then, I keep hearing a voice. Can you explain that to me? And All Might right now is, he's, he's in shock. You know, he's just in shock. Because he can't. He's trying to he's trying to wonder how is it possible for him to copy one for all, you know? It's it's a quirk that can't you know that usually cannot be copied by like other quirks like that you know. And it's only supposed to be passed down. But all my saying you know he's saying what do you mean you copied my quirk? And Nega says yeah I copied your quirk during the entrance exams. And All Might says, but that's impossible. And Deku says, but why is that impossible? I've copied, I have copied Teleportation Quick. I copied Bakugos Quick. I copied Todoroki's Quick. So why would it be impossible for me to copy yours? And All Might now thinks to himself that he kind of has to tell Deku why it would be normally impossible for him to copy his quirk, you know? And after Alma is done explaining the whole thing, you know, at the end of it, he says, and then he chose Bakugo as his successor for one for all, you know, and... Deku right now is pretty, you know, he's like, he's pretty shocked out about all this, you know. And he says, interesting. I didn't know a quick like that can exist, you know. And All Might says, well, I didn't think, well, when I first found out that you can copy quicks, I thought that you were a disciple or something of All For One. Because he's the only other person I know that can have have multiple quirks at the same time. And that goes says, I see. I, I, I understand. I get it, you know? And then, All Might then, you know, at the end of it, turns into his um weekend form, you know? Or his normal form, I guess, you should say. Yeah, normal form. His fucking crackhead form. You know? And then he also tells Deku that this is how he looks like without, um, when, um, he's not using one for all, you know, and then explains the injury and shit and what it did to him. Deku's like, oh, I see, so only Bakugo and I'll select others know, huh? Mom Might's like, yes. And then this is where, um, All Might then ask Deku a question. No, no, he doesn't ask him a question. No, he says, well, I guess I got my answer for the question I was going to ask you. And Deku's like, what were you going to ask me? He says, I was going to ask you how you were able to defeat Bakugo like that. Considering the quirk is really powerful, um, one for all is really powerful, and it boosts another quirk's, um, if someone else has a quirk, it boosts their, um, their quirk, you know? But since you said you copied mine, I guess there's no need to figure it out. And Deku says, yeah, well, I noticed something too. 
I saw Bakugo's arm, you know. They looked broken. Which is that, um, normally that doesn't happen with Kachan, even after he, um, even after an attack like that. So, is it safe to assume that using one for all cost, that the backlash for one for all is that severe? Ramat says, yes, it is. And Deku says, well, look, looks like I'm lucky considering I don't have to take it, um, considering my quick lets me copy them without the drawbacks. So I guess we're all happy here. And All Might says, yeah, I guess. And then just awkwardly leaves it. Like, the conversation just, like, ends there and just sends him back to class. You know, before he's late. And this is where, um, Eyes of Isaac's gonna tell them that next week they're gonna go to the fucking, um, the USJ, alright? You know, everybody's getting excited and shit and whatnot. You know, and then after class is over, people start coming up to Deku. First of all, Todoroki comes up to Deku, you know? He says, You really copied my quick that day, huh? And Deku just says, Yeah, I did. Tell you the truth. I was honestly getting bored with, um, I already mastered, um, my other two quicks, and then I just, you just happened to be there by the time I was going home, and I just decided to, you know, just say hello and copy it. Honestly, it was pretty strong quick, but it, it amazes me that you don't decide to use your ice, uh, your fire side, you know? And this just um, aggravates Todoroki. And he just goes for a fucking punch for Deku. But Deku just teleports right behind him. And says, well... You can get mad all you want, but... You won't be stronger than me. And then Deku, after this, he just... He just dips. You know, goes home, right? Time skip now to a week later... Everybody's going to USJ, alright? And they're all on the bus and shit, you know, talking about their quakes and whatnot. Goes up to Deku, saying that, um, and then, um, let's see, who was, uh, who gonna do it? Momo, this one asks, um, did your parents, do your parents have any copy quakes and shit, you know? Th- and then, you know, every, every, let's just say the mood was happy and good, like, you, fun, I guess, at this time. Except for Todoroki and shit, you know? And Bakugo. And they after, and when Momo asked his questions to Deku, you know, he just, he just turns around and says, I don't really know. I never knew my parents. Um, and he says... Um, I'm pretty sure they died in, um, Nabu Island, you know? And everybody's eyes just wide open, you know? Because, um, they remember seeing on the news that, um, there was a, a survivor or something, you know? And it was a kid. And people are saying that, you, what, you're the kid that survived it? And that was like, yeah, I am. Tell you the truth, I don't remember much though. I don't even remember them at all. I, the last thing I remembered was that I was in the middle of the town and everything was on fire. And a tree almost fell on me and All Might saved me. And Momo right now just feels, you know, kind of bad that she had to bring that up. And Deku just realizes this and says, oh, you don't have to worry, Momo. Honestly, it doesn't bother me. And she's like, are, are you sure? Because it seems kind of serious. And Deku just says, no, it really doesn't. I don't even remember them. How am I supposed to care for someone I don't remember? Or some shit like that. 
I mean, I guess it it does hurt Deku a little bit on the inside, you know, but he likes to, like, show everyone, like, he just, he just doesn't really care, like, like, that's the front he puts up. He doesn't care about, like, this shit like that, you know? Oh, no, no, you know what? No, scratch that, scratch that, scratch that. I don't know why the fuck I went there. No. All right, Deku just says, no, it's okay, really. I don't mind. It's in the past anyway. And Mom was like, alright, and she, she just, it cheered her up a bit. Alright, and now we skip to the US GA. They get there. Um, I as well tell them we'll be working with their team and shit. Their team then explains what they're gonna be doing. And then Deku sees a bunch of, of fucking porter open up and says, oh, to the thing, is that gonna be part? Um, is that part of the um, the practice? And as what turns around at that team do, and they just realize that there's a bunch of villains coming out of there and they're saying no and whatnot. And Kirogiri, you know the same. Everything right now happens as in canon. Um, they all get separated as in canon. And. And instead of there being one Nomu in this one, there's going to be two Nomus. Alright. And, and and in this one, um, Deku and Sui, uh, the fucking frog chick, I don't know what's the name, Sui? Sui? Was it? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just say Sui. I'm gonna just say Sui, yeah, because I don't remember. I think that's what it was, something like that. Either way, um, you know, they, um, they actually, Deku actually takes care of the villains, you know, pretty quick. He just freezes the water, you know, and then after that, um, Sui, um, Deku tells Sui to go and, um, to go back with the rest of the students and whatnot at the top. And oh yeah, and Ida also dip to go get help from the to tell the pro heroes. And Deku decides to go and help Aizawa during all this. And And then the Nomu kicks in, you know? The second normal, you know, he sees what's going on. Oh, well, Shiraki notices what's going on, you know, how he's trying to help. You know, Deku is, um, is beating the villains up pretty, you know, the, the small fry, you know, pretty easily. You know, it does help eyes a little bit. But this is where, um, actually, no, not one normal. Both normals, um, go and at a one, and at one attacks Aizawa and the other one attacks Deku. All right, and Aizawa gets the same beatdown as he does in um, canon, you know. And after that, the uh, Shigaraki tells that Nomu to um to come back, you know. Aizawa at this point, you know, he can't really move. Right now, he's really unconscious, you know. And Deku is putting up a decent fight against the Nomu. Okay. And he decides um to use the f- f- um full power of one for all. You know, he he fucking punches a normal in the stomach. You know, it's fucking whole. Well, no. no. Um. It does leave like a fucking. Oh, yeah, he punches the Nomu so hard in the stomach that there's basically a fucking hole in there now, like there was, like, um, how Ichigo had in his hollow form when he turned into, a uh, fucking, well, when he lost control against that fight in Yokura, it was basically a hole right there, that's how it looked, and then that great essay regenerated, that caught him by surprise, and then the Nomu attacked and started beating the living crap out of him, and then this is where Deku started hearing the voice again. Saying, what's wrong? Release everything and kill. 
And right now, there's a bunch of memories flooding back into Deku's mind. And he's just yelling. Both in agony of what's going on in him physically and mentally. Because of all these memories that are coming back to him. As he's getting his shit rocked. More and more memories start coming back. And then... That's where I'm going to leave it off. Alright. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it off. Yep. Going to upload another one as soon as possible. It's not going to be three weeks this time or a month really soon. I'm just... Honestly, I'm just, I just don't know where I want to take this yet. I'm not sure how I want to do it. I mean, I have an idea of how I want to do it, but... Some, like, other... I also want to put some other stuff in here that I think would be good. You know? I'm definitely going to include, um... This dude over here. That's, uh... A spoiler right there. Tear. And... And I want to make it a really interesting role. I want to make this interesting. I really do. But for right now, that's it. And... I also have another What If series. A new one gonna come out as soon as possible so yeah see you guys later bye